In this video, I'll go over setting up an L2TP IPsec site-to-site -site VPN between two Synology NAS devices. With this setup, we'll be able to create off-site backups using, for example, the snapshot replication package, and I'll go over setting that up as well. For this setup, one of the Synology NAS devices needs to be set up as the VPN server, and I'll configure that NAS first. This requires the VPN server package to be installed, so I'll search for and install the package from the package center. Once installed, I'll bring up control panel, then select user and group to create an account that will be used to connect to the VPN server. Here I'll click create and enter in the required fields on this enter user information window. I'll then click next, then next once again, through the remainder of the user creation wizard windows, and finally click done to complete the setup. Now I'll bring up the main menu and launch the VPN server package. I'll select the privilege listing and limit VPN access to the user that was just created on the L2TP IPsec VPN server. Next, I'll select the L2TP IPsec VPN server listing. Click save on the privilege changes that I just made then enable the L2TP IPsec VPN server and enter in a pre-shared key that will be used when setting up a client device. Nothing else needs to be changed, so I'll click Apply to finish up the setup. I'll also click OK on this pop-up window regarding port forwarding and firewall settings that list the UDB ports that need to be opened. We'll get to setting up port forwarding a little later in the video. Next, I'd like to set up a DDNS hostname for this Synology NAS. This will allow the client NAS to be able to access the L2TP IPsec VPN server using a hostname rather than an IP address that may be changed by my internet service provider. I'll do this by bringing up the external access control panel, then select DDNS. I'll click add, then select Synology under service provider. Now I'll enter in a host name I'd like to use. Then I'll test the connection to make sure server access is functioning. The test came back with a status of normal, so I'll click OK to complete the setup. Next, port forwarding needs to be set up to allow external access to the Synology NAS that is running the VPN server. In my case, I've already configured ports 1701, 500, and 4500 on my router to forward to the corresponding ports on the NAS. At this point, everything needed to allow access to the Synology NAS running the L2TP IPsec VPN server is in place, so I'll switch over to the Synology NAS that will be set up as the VPN client to set that one up. I'll then bring up Control Panel, select the Network Control Panel, then select the Network Interface listing. Here I'll click Create, and select Create VPN Profile, which brings up this Create Profile wizard. For VPN connection method, I'll select L2TP IPsec. Then under General Settings, I'll enter in a profile name. Enter in the DDNS host name that was set up earlier under Server Address. Then enter in the username and password for the account that was set up for VPN access and enter in the pre-shared key that was set up earlier as well. For the advanced settings window, I'll enable the server or client are behind a NAT device because both Synology NAS devices are, and enable the reconnect when the VPN connection is lost so that the VPN connection always remains up and click done. Now I'll select the new VPN profile and click connect to establish a connection to the L2TP IPsec VPN server running on the other Synology NAS. If I switch back over to that NAS and bring up the VPN server application, we can confirm that the connection is established both from this overview window and under the connection list section. Next, I'll go over setting up a remote backup from the client Synology NAS to the Synology NAS running the VPN server using snapshot replication. This requires the snapshot replication package to be installed on both Synology NAS devices. So I'll do that here on this NAS by bringing up the package center, 
and search for and install the Snapshot Replication Package. I'll do the same on the client NAS outside of this video as well. At this point, I'll switch back over to the VPN client Synology NAS because I want to back up files on that NAS to the NAS running the VPN server. But note that you could just as well back up files using snapshot replication in the opposite direction using the VPN connection. Here, I'll launch the snapshot replication package from the main menu and bring up the replication listing. I'll click Create to start up the Create Replication Task Wizard, then click Start to proceed. From this, select the location and network type for the destination window. I'll leave Remote selected. Then, from this, specify the Replication Destination Server window. I'll need to enter in the L2TP IPsec IP address of the Remote Synology NAS running the VPN server. This can be found from the Network Control Panel under the Network Interface listing. Here, I'll expand the L2TP IPsec VPN interface, and the IP address that I'll need to use is actually the gateway that is listed. Back in the wizard, I'll enter in the gateway address under server name or IP address. Then I'll click Authenticate and enter in an admin username and password of the remote Synology NAS. Nothing else needs to be changed, so I'll click Next to continue with the setup. I'll click Next on this Select Destination Volume window. Select the shared folder I would like to replicate. I'll leave things as is on this initial replication window, as well as on the remaining Setup Wizard windows, and click Done to complete the setup. After the task finishes loading, if all goes well, you should come up to this pop-up window confirming that the replication task was created successfully. I'll click OK, and we can see that the initial replication task is now taking place. And when done, you'll see a pop-up window displaying that the replication task completed successfully. If I switch back over to the Synology NAS running the VPN server and bring up Snapshot Replication, we can see the replication details from the destination end of the setup. I can also bring up FileStation to view the files that were replicated over the L2TP IPsec VPN to the NAS. And for more on setting up an L2TP IPsec VPN and snapshot replication, check out these videos listed here on screen. Also, if you would like to support my work or hire me for a project you are working on, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.